you need to set up reduction keys. And what your reduction keys are for is once you've generated your forecast and you've got it in place and it's being included in master planning, as you move, uh, as the future comes toward you, I'll explain based on the first line, between if we are uh, at like September 28th, the forecast that is out there for October 1st to October 31st is going to be reduced by 100%. So you're not actually gonna see any planned orders based off of the forecast for October at that point. With the idea being that uh, you would already have transactions and real demand existing for those items rather than forecasted demand. As you go out into the future, you can set this up a couple different ways. What's represented here is a percentage. And what we're seeing here is that 10 months out, uh, we're going to reduce the forecast that exists by 62 and a half percent. And this was actually taken from an example where it's uh, forecasted out 24 months. Uh, the big note is that you can reduce your demand forecast and essentially reduce your planned orders by either a percentage or by actual transactions. If you're doing by transactions, it's going to take transactions that you have between October 1st and October 31st and subtract existing transactions from your forecasted value. If you're forecasted for a thousand of something and you have planned orders for that, but you actually have existing orders for 950, your planned orders based off of your forecast is only gonna be for 50 rather than a thousand.